what do you think is left done, left to be done? Well, uh, you know, that's kind of difficult to say. Right now, and this is a, a long story that we won't go into, but back in 1997, uh, Mayor Helke approached me and asked me to take over parking, complete control of parking. I always have collected the ordinance uh, violations within the clerk's office, but I never had control over the parking officers themselves. Well, Mayor Helmke asked me to do that. And I thought for a while, well, I did it, you know. It was a kind of a, a little department that was lost out there. Uh, they were doing a good job for the city, but nobody wanted them. <laughs> <laughs> and they were at the police department. And I can understand the police department. They've they've got more important things to do. So I thought, well, if I can be a help to this department. So that's how I ended up with parking. We have never had a good software program in Violations Bureau until recently. We've always had an in-house program. They were good, but everybody, the two people that wrote the last one both retired. Nobody in ACS knew anything about it. So we were kind of kind of stuck. We, we started having a lot of problems. So then the Bureau of Motor Vehicles decided they were going to charge us for every registration that we asked from them. And they're looking for money too, like every municipal uh, entity in the state. They're mm -hmm. looking for money, ways to save money. So anyway, uh, Jim Haley, Jim Howard, Pat Roller and I got our heads together and decided we have to have a new software program. I'm looking forward to this new program. We, I think, and I've got my fingers crossed that we've got the bugs out of it. And I think we've had a lot of bugs, but Jim says, no, every time you go into a new program, you have a lot of, you have a lot of little bugs. So I think we've got them worked out. And I am really anxious for it to take off. We are going to save money on our printing. We're not, we're going to do all the printing ourselves. Hmm. We're going to just put a piece of paper in. We're not going to save on paper in the Violations Bureau, but we're going to save on printing, and paper is cheaper than printing. We're not going to have any printed notices or receipts. We are going to put those together ourselves and print them. Hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see where that program's going. Of course, with City Council, I kind of have two departments in my office. I have Violations Bureau, and then we have City Council, as you're well aware of. Uh, City Council... We, it, I know, there's a lot, a lot of talk about technology. I am pleased with where our technology is with City Council. We, we try to put, well, we not try, we have added a new feature. Uh, we added one last year, we've added another one this year, and now we've finally gotten down to get rid of the paper. Did you happen to see the few pieces of paper I took off the table last night? Mm -hmm. And it was nothing but their mail. I mean, what, what a relief. Uh, the iPads are a godsend. Uh, council members are very, very happy with them. They uh, can get their emails, in which we know they get gobs and gobs of emails. They can get their emails on their, e uh, on their iPad, all kinds of things that they can do. Jim Haley has offered to give them lessons, whatever help they need, he's available to them. And uh, I can see it going, one thing I want for next year, if I'm still in the clerk's office, and I hope to be, Bloomington did their budget electronically this year. Hmm. Now they do not have iPads, they have uh, lap uh, lap laptops, mm -hmm. but she saved, she hasn't given me a total dollars yet, but their budget book, each book was 500 pages. And she did not make one budget book this year. And she said everybody was happy with it. <laughs> so I am going to be working with the controller. I, I, I've got the figures, I don't have them with me, but I got the figures from Jeannie uh, in the controller's office of how much they spend for the printing of these books and putting them together. That's astronomical. Mm -hmm. So that's one project that I've got. We're always looking to improve our information on the website. 
I'm not saying we're perfect, but I'm saying we don't have a call or a complaint from anybody that can't find anything. Sometimes, you know, we have to, they're, they're saying, okay, where's such and such? Well, we get on the phone and we lead them right to the, to the spot. I have had numerous emails complimenting us on our website. I am very proud of that. And like I said, I have a list here. I'm going to give you that everything that's on there. And I know you already know what's on there. But uh, our state representative, Phil Giaquino, uh, come in one day, I believe it was last week, and he said, Sandy, I need a copy of everything you have on your website. Well, he was on political radar one night. He was amazed. He had not gone on our website to see everything that we've got on there. <laughs> so that kind of made me feel good. Mm -hmm. That somebody said, hey, you do have a lot on there, you know, and I think it was more than he expected. But like I said, I always want to improve. I always wanted to grow. We can't stand still. And I, I, I think I've uh, I heard some people say, and I've read in, you know, papers and things where, you know, I'm not subject to change. That That is not true. That is not true. I have changed so many things in the city clerk's office, and I'm always open to change as long as the money is there, and as long as an improvement and a help to the citizens of Fort Wayne. But sometimes the money is not there. We, uh, uh, talking about our parking meters, I wanted to, well, we had to replace the parking meters a few years ago because we couldn't get parts for them. They were so old. And when they did find them, they were, you know, just too high. I put in for a five-year capital improvement program to replace all the meters in Fort Wayne. We couldn't do that in five years. They were too expensive. Mm -hmm. We had to go seven years. But we did get good meters. They're all electronic meters. Uh, not completely maintenance free, but I'll, nothing, nothing compared to the old ones we had. Mm -hmm. 